Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some very interesting updates from the folks at Epic Games and this has to do with MetaHuman. So the last time we talked about MetaHuman, there was a whole lot of cool stuff from the folks at Epic. It was amazing, revolutionary. We did go ahead to talk about how this works with Maya and also Unreal Engine. And today we are seeing a pretty cool update to MetaHuman as version 0.5.0 has been released. And this comes with a couple of things. So one of them is the hair. There's a huge update to the hair. They've added a couple of level of details for some hairstyles. The UI has been updated. There's a head proportion change. So just in case you'd like to increase the head size, you can also do that. Some lighting scenario for those who like makeups. There's also a couple of things for the makeup. There's the body rig, clothing, presets, performance, texture baking, and so on and so forth. So with this set, we're going to dive directly into MetaHuman and see how this works. And by default, you already know that for you to get started with MetaHuman, you need to go over to metahuman.unrealengine.com to get this going. So with your MetaHuman open right here and you've logged in, you would see that you have these presets that you can work with. And this is uh, very simple. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a look at this model that we have here. And uh, we can actually switch this. Let's see if we can get Lexi. We're just going to go ahead and look that in. And with this here, we can now proceed to click on Next. Now, once we click on Next, this opens up. And from here, we can start making some changes. So let's just simply go ahead and stop this right here and take a look at some of the improvements. And one of the improvements has to do with the hair. And this is pretty nice. It gives you that room for customizing your character the way you want. So in this case, if you would like to change the color of the hair, which is actually impressive, you can now style the color of the hair. And uh, you would also notice that once you're styling this, the eyebrows also go for the right. So you can give the character some... Um, Let's just give it a couple of blondie. Let's make this blonde. We can also choose to dye the hair as well. So if I click on enable dye, we can go ahead and dye this. Let's, uh, let's have some fun colors right here. Maybe put some color like that. Or maybe we can go with, yeah, something bluish maybe. Maybe something like this looks cool. And then we can switch to something like so. So once we have this, we can play with the melanin right now to actually make it a bit darker or a bit, you know, lighter. You can also play with the redness depending on what you want. And if we also go over to the eyebrow, we can also choose to make some changes to the eyebrow. Now for the eyebrow, once you take a look at this, you would notice that you just have like a very standard eyebrow. The color still follows through from the original hair. But if you like to make changes, you can click on the word custom and you can choose to make changes. And just like we have with the original hair, you can also dye the hair. So you can, you know, choose to get something a bit like that and then you can dye it. Maybe just about a point like this. Let's uh, tweak this just about. Let's actually punch in. Red doesn't look good. Let's go with the green. Green looks cool. And we're just going to go ahead and let that be. And you can simply implement these same changes across all of this. So you like to give some mustache. You like to change the mustache. That's perfect. And let's throw in a couple of mustache right there. You like to throw in some beards. You like to tweak the beards. You can also choose to do that. And of course, if you like to customize this, we can. Go ahead and add some customization for that. Go over to the mustache and maybe add some more customization. So let's go to the mustache and we can customize this one too. So, you know, you have all of this and uh, you can make changes and tweaks however you want. Now with this done, if you would like to implement some sort of makeup to your model, if you go over to the makeup section right now, you can apply foundation for some parts of the model so we can actually select the foundation that we want and we can increase the intensity of the foundation and you can decrease that. So depending on what you like, you can play with that. If you like to throw in some blush, which is pretty nice, you can also go in and throw in some blush right there. You can also blush from this part so you can see that and you can also blush right here. So you can choose to change the color of the blush. So maybe you would like to give this character some sort of blush like this. All right. You know, you just simply have all of the customization for you and you can do this however you want so you can tweak play with this and for the best part you can also play with the leaves and then you can change the color of the leaves so maybe we'll like our character to have a little bit of red lips maybe something like that and we can drop down the intensity by pulling the transparency upwards and at the same time we can also drop down the roughness all right so with this there for those who've been thinking about the blends, the blends are still here. You can choose to play with this if you want to make some tweaks. For those thinking about the eyes, the eyes are still here. We just have all of this. 
So you can pick from them and you can tweak these things to your liking. The teeth is also here. So just in case you like to customize the teeth, however you want, you can also choose to do that. And then we also have something that deals with proportion. So previously we did see that, you know, within the proportion, everything looks cool. But right now, if you like to tweak this to your liking, you can now play with the head skill. So you can make stylized, some sort of stylized character, actually not completely stylized, but you can make some sort of stylized characters with this. So I can select the model like this one, you know, if we go over to shorts, select a model like this, you can increase the head size and uh, you can see that. Now I found out that this doesn't actually allow you to increase more than the value of one. So you can just only increase this all the way to one. And if you go over to places like the tops, you can also tweak the top to suit what you want. So depending on the top you select, you can tweak it. So in this case, since we have this selected, we can change secondary color to something maybe bluish. Let's go with color like that. And then we can change this other one to maybe something reddish or something like that. So we can choose to make these changes. And right now you have more customization and you can use these things to your liking. And once you're done, you can also make changes to the pants if you want. You can also make changes to the shoes if you want. And you have all of these customizable features that you can work with. Now, something else that is also very brilliant in terms of how you showcase your model deals with the studio. So within the studio section, you can make some very interesting uh, lighting tests. So if you go over to the studio section, you can select any of these studios and you can notice that I have a couple more. So we can select something like that and you can play with the rig just to get some very interesting looking shots for yourself. So you can tweak the rig however you want. And maybe if you like something like this, you can also go ahead and tweak it. And you can see that right there. You know, you can just go through, play with these things and get the most out of it. So something like this doesn't look bad as well. And you can get some very decent looking stuff out of this. So far, so good. This update looks pretty nice. And uh, for those who have been wondering about stylizing their own models, you know, working with the rig directly here. If you go over to where you have the blend or you go over to sculpt, you would notice that we also now have a tiny section right here. So at this point, you can use this to pull certain parts of the model. And then you can also use this at the same time. Now, this actually blends like it's traveling through a square. So you can travel upwards, left and right, downwards. And this looks nice. So this way, you can also do something like that. And of course, you can start noticing that you have this sort of you know, box or square that you can use to control how the blending would look or how the shape of the face would actually look like. So you can use these to control like the cheekbone and you can flatten that in, you can punch this out and you can also do some very uh, nicer and cooler things with this. So for those who would like to try this out, you can simply go over to metahuman.unrealengine.com and try it out. And just like we've mentioned before, everything that you're working on is saved. So if you simply go over to the MetaHuman page, this is going to be saved to where your original MetaHumans are. And for sure, if you've already downloaded the Quicksell Bridge, you would also be able to find this within your Quicksell Bridge and you can download it and send it over to Maya and over to Unreal Engine as well. And for those who haven't seen the video where we talked about how you can send this over to Maya and Unreal Engine, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can check it out. And if you'd like to read more about this, you can simply take a look at the link in the description as well and see how these things work. So this is more like it. There's a couple of known issues and also there's a couple of bug reports. So just in case you like to test this out, it will be worth knowing that you should come through and read up on these things and get informed about them. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And if I see you guys again with the tutorial update, Free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.